just having a barbecue, just making some steaks, yeah. <laughs> just get in my belly, steaks, get in my belly, what, 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 what the hell, what the hell is, what the hell is going on? Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the NPC village on the second continent in this, the final episode of Season 1, Let's Play Minecraft Survival with Ren Diggity Dog! Oh man, and you may have noticed that something has changed. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Well, it could be because we are back to the original texture pack. Yes, this is default texture, people. And man, this is going to be a freaking exciting and special episode for you Cyberdogs. An episode that I hope will go down in Cyberdog history as one of the sweetest episodes we've ever freaking done, man. So guys, I recommend getting your cup of coffee, getting your soda pop, your a huge giant bowl of popcorn, sitting back, relaxing, and joining me on this ridiculously long episode, episode 100, and man, it is going to be sweet! Damn! Because in this episode, guys, we are going to be looking at everything through new eyeballs. That's right, we are going to be going through everything that we have done in this series, looking at it through the default texture pack, Looking at it through the eyeballs through which it was intended to be looked by the game developers. And man, it is going to be epic. I haven't seen anything in the default texture pack yet. Who knows what the molehole is going to look like? Who knows what the Lakeside Villa is going to look like? And who freaking knows what all of the other super sweet jazz that we've got around this world is going to look like in default. But in this episode, you're going to see it all, my people. And in between that... We are going to be going back in time, guys. We are going to be um, going through the episodes of this series from beginning to end. Going through the best bits for all the way from episode freaking one. And also, guys, while we are going through the world in default texture pack, we are going to be going on a ridiculously epic journey down memory lane. That's right, people. We are going to go through all the best bits of this series from episode 1 all the way to episode 99 and um, I've picked out all the best bits that I well, that I enjoyed the most out of the series and put them into this well what can only be described as a montage a random montage and man it is going to be sweet people all your favorite moments from the series we are going to relive them and seriously guys this is going to be a freaking long episode so sit back relax you might have to watch this bad boy over a couple days but guys, I would really love for you all to get through to the end because you know what? There are some prizes on the way there. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of Dogolith entries. For one, we're going to have to um, add a new gravestone to the graveyard. And there might be another couple surprises for you guys all the way at the end. So I would really appreciate it if you guys stick with me all the way through to the end. And at the end, there's going to be uh, a code word or something that you're going to have to say to show me that you've gone all the way to the end, guys. But man, this is going to be epic. And, um, oh god, I can't wait to get started, guys. Sit back, relax, and join me. Let's get it on! I, I don't know what, um, what compelled me to make a series in Minecraft, but at the time, oh my god. There's an invasion! Invasion going on! Um, but at the time, when I started this series, I was busy doing a Terraria series, which is considered, um, the 2D Minecraft, for those of you who don't know. Um, and at the time, I just, you know, a, a ton of people were playing Minecraft and uh, it just looked like so much fun and I just thought to myself, you know what, maybe I should just make a series of, uh, of, of Minecraft because I'd never really played it before. I played a bit with my brother but I'd never really played the game before and um, I decided, alright, you know what, let's do it man, let us make a freaking Minecraft series and that is where it all started, all the way back in the day man, when we first found the mole hole the side of the mountain into which we were going to build our castle and um, man it feels like so long ago but guys let's go back to that episode to episode one and let's relive um, the very start of this series and um, while we're doing that I'm going to be heading back to the first continent I've now got myself a compass so I know how to get home 
and uh, I'm going to be heading across the ocean back home so that we can have a look at all the stuff we've built in, in default texture pack. And I can't wait to get there, guys. So sit back, relax. Let's check it out, man. Episode 1. Bam! Greetings, citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the world of Minecraft in this brand new Let's Play Minecraft series. And in this series, we're going to be playing Minecraft in survival mode. And it is going to be sweet. Mm, damn, I can't wait to get started, guys. To be honest, I've never actually played Minecraft from beginning to end, nor have I ever made a Let's Play series for Minecraft. So this is it, guys. Let's get it on! Oh man, here we go people. Minecraft Let's Play. Oh, I can't believe I've never done this before. This game is the sweetest game, man. Oh, it is so awesome. Well, I'm so, ex so excited to get started, guys. I hope you're going to enjoy the series as much as I'm going to enjoy playing it. And um, today, we're just going to set up for the first night. We're going to try and make sure that we find a good little pad. Um, oh, God. I think I broke something. Um, we're going to look for a nice place to start up. And, ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not a good start. Leave me alone, you bastard. Leave me alone, you bastard. Well, um, <laughs> we've got a spider on our ass. And so we can't even begin the obligatory punching of trees. <laughs> Which, okay, it seems he's left us behind. Okay, great. Ooh, damn. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a murder. I'm a murder some cows now. That's what I, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna murder that spider, if he's still there. Woe betide his ass, if he is still there, because he is gonna get his ass handed back to him. All right. All right, it's cow murdering time, people. Ooh, an apple. I'll have that, thank you. Die and give me your skin. <laughs> Check at him looking at me, man. Now I feel really bad. He was like, dude, why's you gotta kill me? Can't you see I'm just chilling? I just made a baby. Hmm, now I feel really bad. Right. Let's go back to that cave. Maybe that maybe this cave is actually ooh, this might be a good a good place to spend our first night. Because um, you know. Ooh, look at that over there, people. Look at the size of those trees. Okay, we're definitely going exploring there, but first um just want to collect this coal. How sweet is this? Oh god. This is awesome. A piggy! Die you bastard. <laughs> This is perfect, guys. This is absolutely perfect for our house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build my house right into the side of this mountain, um, and when we come out of the house, we're gonna come out with this amazing view of, of what can only be described as a rainforest. Um, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, this is so awesome. This is perfect. Yeah, I, th I think I'm. Oh, yes, this is this is perfect. Wait, is there, a, is there a tree above me? Oh my god, the sun is going down. The sun be going down. I better get go. So yeah, man, I'm going to live inside this mountain because I'm a mole person. Um, oh god. We may have a problem. Oh no, it's all good, it's all good naturally digging our ceiling for us which is sweet this is actually this is actually really sweet um, look at that we've got a natural ceiling going on around here um, so yeah I, I'm a mole person man in any sandbox game I generally tend to to the first house that I make is always underground or in a mountain if you guys are, are mole people let me know in the comment section below man I want to know how many how many moles are out there Oh man, guys, here we are in the molehole lobby, looking sweet. Check it out, man. It looks so cool. 
But man, that was crazy times all the way back then, and, and I was such a Minecraft noob. I'd never played survival before, and it, you know, it was just, it was a terrible thing to behold, actually. I was just absolutely terrible. Um, but here we can see what the box room looks like also in the, in the default texture pack. But guys, after that, after we'd established ourselves in the mole hole, which was literally just in here, it was like a square in here, um, before, you know, we built the life tree and everything. We went on an adventure and it was the first time that we came across what can only be described as death. Uh, <laughs> and also we found our first Enderman. So why don't we have a look at that, guys, all the way back around episode four and episode six. Let's have a look back at those times. Definitely don't want to be dancing in lava. Right, what's in here? A new cave to explore. The problem is we still have to get back up, right? What are those? Do you see that? Do you guys see that? Are those diamonds? These can't be diamonds. Greetings, citizens of the internet! This is Rendog coming at you from the mole hole in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series! How is everybody today? I am doing awesome, guys. And I'll tell you why, because in the last episode, we found a giant cave. And we are going to be heading into that cave today. Um, and right now I'm just preparing for this epic adventure. We don't know what's going to be down there. It looked like a pretty huge, enormous cave. So um, I'm going to cook me some steaks. I'm gonna make me some torches and uh, we are gonna we are gonna head out there I, I hope I can remember where um, where it is but I did leave some torches to guide my way there um, what we do need to do is um, oh, god damn it I do not have an axe uh, what we do need to do is make a few more torches because we only have 57 torches and we have no idea how long this little adventure is gonna take um, we could actually use our fist for this. I think it's better to use our fist and not damage our pickaxes. Um, we've also uh, smelted all the iron ore that we got in episode 1 and 2. And uh, we are going to be turning that iron ore into lava again. What was that? Oh my god. No, that's not good. Um, holy sh... Crap sticks, I'm being... This isn't good, guys. This is not good. Um, I have an Enderman on my ass. Um, what the hell? Guys, this is not good. Help. Somebody help me. Um, oh my god. I'm alive? Is this real? <laughs> Am I dreaming? I don't know how I survived that, um, but I think I'm incredibly lucky. I feel incredibly lucky to not be dead. You know, I look back at that death now and I cannot believe what a freaking noob I was, man. That was just unbelievable. What a waste of diamonds and <laughs> just absolutely terrible play. And I, at that stage, had underestimated the value of diamonds so much. And I just, I was just completely carefree. I didn't care about if diamonds fell in, the, in lava or anything. Um, but anyway, guys, here we are in my bedroom in the default texture pack. Looking freaking sweet. The moon going down over there. And there we can see the farmland. In fact, man, it is looking really good in the default texture pack, isn't it, guys? I'll say that the glass is um, very difficult to see through, but everything is looking really sweet. Mm, man, I'm digging it. Um, but yeah, that, that was crazy times dying. When I first met that Enderman, I absolutely crapped myself. Excuse my French. But damn, was that thing hard to kill. And I was so scared that he was going to own me. He was chasing me through those chaverns, man. It was intense times. Let's eat some melons, baby. Mm. So next up, guys, we are going to be looking at um, the construction work that then started shortly after that tragic event. We started working on the Great Road, um, as well as making mine shafts and stuff like that. So 
why don't we go have a look um, at when, where we first started working on the Great Road and, and started to really work on improving the mole hole in general. Greetings citizens of the internet, this is Rendog coming at you from the world of Minecraft in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. And how is everybody today? I am, oh god guys, I am crazy excited because I've got some crazy stuff to show you today. Let's just say that Randog's done been busy. Oh yeah, there have been some epic home improvements going on around here, guys. You are about to see what I have done to the mole hole and prepare to be amazed. Oh yeah, baby, check it out, man. Check how sweet this is looking. And you think this is it? You think that I just fixed the entrance? Well, think again, people. Think again. So as you can see, um, you guys suggested that I make the roof and the floor wood, and that's exactly what I did, and you can see it is looking awesome. And through here, guys, I have made the box room. Oh, yeah. Look at this, baby. Look at, look at this. This is where I'm keeping all the stuff that I'm finding in this game. And trust me, there is a lot. Look at all that stuff in there. And weapons and then I haven't put anything in here yet and here's all the random stuff and if we go through this door over here welcome to the furnace room um, this is where we cook all our stuff this is where we cook make bread this is where we smelt ore and whatnot and if we come through here guys you are about to see the completed wheat farm that I just finished look how beautiful it is Oh man, that is looking sweet, if I do say so myself. And uh, we're going to harvest some of this, these, these here crops and turn it into some bread in time for us to go on our next adventure. Let's go from the house all the way to the end of the road um, and see what it's like. Hang on. Hang on. This ain't right. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong. There we go. That's better. Or not. No, that's not better at all. Isn't that cute? But it's also wrong. Okay, so I was actually right the first time around. OCD kicking in again, man. I can't believe that box is the wrong way around, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you to, uh, to the subscriber who pointed that out. That is most annoying. Alright, let's do this. I want to go on adventure. Got my sword, got my bread. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Ooh, check out the road. Oh, it's so sweet. Check out all the fences and all the torches. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, man, guys. This is awesome. Woohoo! Damn. Sweet. So, I think what we're going to do is maybe um, dig downwards now. Let's see how far we get. Now, the trick with this, of course, is to dig in a sort of um, circular structure, right? So that you don't like, so that A, you're able to get back up and B, you don't fall straight into lava. So this is just a new, this is a technique that I haven't tried before. Um, so let's see how it goes. So what we're trying to do here is make, <laughs> ding! So we get in my belly. Oh man, diamonds. All oh, the diamonds. Oh my god. Four freaking diamonds already. Oh nice. Is this bedrock? So this looks like bedrock, right? Yeah, I'm guessing that 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 this is in fact the very very bottom. Um We've got to the bottom of freaking Minecraft, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. We've actually managed to get all the way to the freaking bottom of this game. That is sweet. And um, we are stock full of, of goods and loots. And um, I, I really don't want to die, but um, I cannot resist this. I have to know what is going on here. Um, oh my god, there's a railway system there. Can I collect this? Dudes, this is absolutely insane. What is going on here? Oh my god, this is amazing. I'm telling you, man, Minecraft is so insane. It, every single adventure you go on is completely different. And um, 
look at this. I have never, I have never ever seen this before. Um, I'm sure lots of you guys have probably come across this, but I have never in my life come across something like this. Um, I don't know if it's going to lead to an NPC village. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea what happens in a freaking Minecraft mineshaft. Minecraft mineshaft. Um, well, 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 guys. It looks like that's where it all started. The giant construction work that would continue on the mole hole. And we can see here from the great road with the mole hole behind me, it was going to become something absolutely special. And man, do I really love the great road. It just um, reminds me so much of the beginning of the series. And um, when, you know, people started watching the series and you guys started to join me on the journey. And it's it just it's been such an epic adventure. And, oh, and, and just look how amazing the mole hole looks in this texture pack with our animal farm um, going over here. So that was good times, man. We had started the, the building of the road and basically the road inspired us to venture that way all the way out in that direction and there you can see the great bridge in the distance um, but what we then did after we built the great road was work on what you can see over there and th this was an inspiration given to me by one of the subscribers and of course it was the life tree and man was this an epic thing to add to the series and this is what we're going to go have a look at right now um, in the next return or well, the next part of the montage. <laughs> so guys, let's go have a look at where the life tree started in this series. And let, let's get it on. Okay, so here are the, these are the jungle saplings, I believe. And these are the normal saplings. And we've got a whole bunch of bones. That's good. So we're gonna make some bone meal. There's some more bones. My iron is ready. Oh, yeah. Smells good. Right. That should definitely be enough bone meal to do this. All right, guys. Are you freaking ready for this, man? The skylight is about to take form. Well, I hope it is anyway. Um, let's... Let's... Maybe it's time to say a prayer to the gods of Minecraft. Gods of Minecraft! May this glitch work. And I will be stoked. Um, bone meal. One, two, three, kablam! One, two, three, kablam! Kablam? Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wrong one. Alright, there we go. So now there's a much bigger space, right? Now there's a much, much bigger space for these things to, to grow. So let's check it out. Nope, that's the wrong sapling. See, the thing that worries me is that I'm using a whole bunch of saplings. See, these saplings are really difficult to find, by the way. Um, <laughs> maybe there needs to be more space around this also. I'm actually just, I'm just going to, all the theories that I have, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to put into practice. So I'm going to put another layer of dirt under here also. Just in case. guys let let's give this a go now first we're gonna try with the um, the different sapling there kablam no oh, there we go so that one worked oh my god that is so awesome but look at this man we are in the freaking clouds this is so high. Oh, this is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, so I am very, very happy with this. I have to admit, this is just really, really sweet. I mean, check at this. So this is this is where the very... Oh, God, that is amazing. Look at this, guys. Let's just do a, a panoramic sweep of um, the highest point in Minecraft, coming all the way from the bottom of the life tree. Look at that, man. There's the 
the snow biome, the jungle biome. What can we see in the distance there? Oh man, there's, there, it looks like a, the, the coast of um, a sea coast or something. This is just epics. So over time, we started filling up our boxes. Man, you know, things started to get really busy. We started to collect a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to put some of the, the rare stuff down now, just in case I lose it. Um, but man, it start, the, the series really started to kick off and, um, you know, people were responding really well. You guys were leaving me comments in every single episode. And it was just, it was just so sweet. It was such an amazing feeling. And um, I was just in, enjoying myself so much playing the series um, that I decided to do something crazy. Um, I wanted to see what it would be like on the other side of the freaking world, man. Because we'd spent quite a lot of time in this area. And uh, what we did was eventually head off in the direction of the second continent where we've just come back from, guys. But I wonder if you guys remember that adventure when we first got in our boat and headed all the way to the east, I guess it is. And man, we're going to relive those moments now, guys. So sit back and relax as we head back towards the second continent in that direction. All right, my friends, we are ready. We are ready to venture forth into the unknown. We have no idea what we're going to find, and it is going to be epic. Man, this is exactly like, you know, the feeling when you go to a new school or you, you go into a holiday place you've never been to or to a, uni a new university or something, man. It's that great fear of the, of the unknown. It's that, it's that great feeling of anticipation. What are we going to freaking find across the freaking ocean? And um, my only concern is that I'm not going to be able to get back. Um, I mean, this, this, isn't e this isn't exactly like going on holiday or going to a new school because there's no mommy or daddy to pick me up, to bring me back home to the freaking mole hole. If I can't find my way back to the mole hole, I'm going to have to establish a whole new civilization somewhere. And uh, that would just suck because, you know, we put a lot, of, a lot of freaking work into the freaking mole hole. Hey there, little bitch. So guys, we are going to be venturing across this ocean all the way into th that yonder distance over there to discover something that has not yet been discovered in the world of Minecraft. And who knows what we're going to freaking find now. I've got everything that I need and what I want to make, sh th th this is how I plan to find my way home. I'm going to make these um, like little beacons um, using stone and torches um, and every sort of you know i don't know a hundred steps or whatever i'm going to build one of these and that means that i can always at night I, i'll be able to see the trail of where i went so that i can get all the way back and um this is it guys we are heading into the freaking unknown Whew. okay so i've got the the boat is in the water and um we are ready to go let's do this guys there's no better time than now we are going on an adventure, baby. We are trying to find NPC villages. We are trying to find something sweet. We are just trying to find a new freaking continent. So, onto the boat. Let's do this. Um, how does this work? Oops. There we go. All right, we are out of here, man. We are cruising. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. <laughs> this is awesome. Hello there, squid. Um, ooh, man, he's trying to race me. Okay, so this is it, guys. We are heading, heading, heading out in this direction. Man, there are a freaking lot of squids. I hope they don't attack. Do squids attack? Doesn't seem so. Oh, my goodness. Check at that. That's a ridiculous amount of squids. Whoa. Okay, guys. Well, look at this. We, we've seen some sort of like island formation going on over here. Um, we're just going to carry on going straight. I've, I've, I hope I haven't lost freaking direction. <laughs> Ooh, we have discovered new land. New land has been discovered. Whoa. Whoa. Right. What is going on here, people? Look at this freaking huge ass thing. Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. Another jungle biome. Are you for reals? Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. This is like a little bay. Whoa. What's that? Oh my goodness, guys. This is sweet. Some lava just won't freaking take them the hint. Die. Oops. <laughs> Um, so yeah, guys, I can't believe we just found some melon seeds, man. That is awesome. I have, a, I have no idea what that does, but I'm definitely going to be farming these melon seeds um, and making more melons. I mean, how many, uh, how many melon seeds do I need to make more melons? Is that a, is that, are those the eyes of a freaking Enderman I see? Oh man, this is sweet. Oh my goodness, what is going on? This is ridiculous. Okay, wait guys, I can't go, I can't go further. I, I need to make, I need to, whoa, is that another chest? Is that another chest? It's a creep spawner. We found a freaking mob spawner, people. I'm guessing that I've got to cover it in, f in freaking torches. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This has been an absolutely insane mission. And there's two more chests. What did we get in these chests? Redstone, a bucket, bread. I'm down with that. Irons. Man, I've got too much stuff. We found we found a mob spawner, guys. This is awesome. Greetings, citizens of the internet. This is Rain Dog coming at you from just outside an unexplored NPC village in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. How is everybody today? I am freaking amazing, guys. Because in the previous episode, we stumbled across this little beauty right over here, man. And we are mega excited to freaking see what is in there. We're hoping to find some chests full of goodies. And in the previous episode, also, we made some blue suede shoes. As you can see, we're running around in, di in diamond shoes, baby which is really, really sweet. So guys, welcome to this episode, and I hope you enjoy it. We are going to go and explore inside this mother biatch. Um, oh, this is so exciting. I, a lot of you guys in the comments have said that you can actually find um, amazing stuff in the blacksmith's house, like diamonds and stuff. Hello there. Oh, hello. Yes. I'm here to pillage your village. <laughs> I think, oh my god, this is a big one. Look at this. And what's in there? Is that is that their little cave where they go exploring? Guys, this is a huge NPC village. They even have like a little church. Oh man, this is the sweet. Check at them, they're talking to each other. Sorry to interrupt you, but um, do you have any diamonds in this village? Or you? Man, they just look at you. They're just like, <sighs> sigh. Not another noob. Um, have I done something wrong? <laughs> oh man, that's so that's so awesome. I love this game. So guys, let's start, man. Let's see what we can find. So we found a church. Let us go in here first. What is going on up in here? Where is the entrance? Hmm. There we go. Whoa, why was there a sound? What? This is like a bell tower. This is awesome. Oh man, this just gives you a little view of the surroundings. Look at this, they even have their own little cave. This might be a really good spot to, um, to set up a temporary residence, if you know what I'm saying. And um, why do they all... <laughs> Why don't they have steps into their houses? These guys are these guys are dumb. Okay, so this is just like a, another little hut with nothing in it. Still sweet though. And this right here is the blacksmith. This right here is the business tam. We've got some furnaces, we've got some lava, and there should be a chest in here. Bam! Oh man. Hello there, baby. Alright, lo Lord. Sort me out with some awesome shit. Thank you. Bam. Um, well, not terrible. 
But um, not diamonds either. Let's get rid of that rotten, f rotten freaking flesh. Get rid of this egg too. All right, sweet guys. Um, well, I mean, this is awesome. Um, we didn't exactly find amazing, amazing stuff, but no problems, no worries. We are going to probably set up camp right in here. Hey, what's going on here? What are you guys doing? Hmm? Some weird, weird shit going on in there. And what's going on in here? Nothing. Right, so I, th I think I need, I need to make a bed. Um, are there any sheep around here? Yo! Yo, butthole! Are there any sheep up in your beards, Nias? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Damn butthole. Man, what an epic time in the series that was, guys. I absolutely loved our journey to the second continent. It was so much fun. Man. Whew. It was so sweet reminiscing and seeing all those um, <laughs> those things again. We found a mob spawner. Um, we found an NPC village. It was just epic. And guys, next up on our task, when eventually we got back to our land, was to make the outpost. And the idea was once again generated by a subscriber who suggested that I start strip mining. And that is exactly what we started to do. We built this outpost in the winter tundra. And the aim of the outpost was, of course, to get as many ores, diamonds, loots as possible out of the earth. And that's exactly what we did. And we headed... We, we, we made these four shafts, guys. So I don't need to tell you. Sit back and relax. Let's watch how this outpost came to be. This is sweet. Okay. Um, damn it. Unsymmetrical floor. Fail. Um, which one? Is it this kind of wood? No. Not, not that kind of wood. Is it this kind of wood? Not that kind of wood either. Freak. That's annoying. <laughs> All right, sweet dude. So this is this is sweet. This is absolutely perfect. Um, this roof is it. The roof feels a little bit low, doesn't it? I kind of like it though, because it makes the it makes the room feel really like forgy. Um, Maybe we should get rid of these torches. Just way too much light going on up in here. Welcome to this episode. And if you didn't watch the previous episode, you better go watch the previous episode or I'm going to freaking jump off this freaking ledge. You hear me, you bastards? You hear me? Now, for those of you who did watch the previous episode, thank ye very much. And let us get straight into this episode. So guys, what I, what I thought we were going to do is make um, a sort of much bigger spiral at the top of the spiral. So I'm going to turn this very top part into a room. And then the wall is going to be maybe five blocks high of just pure glass panes. And that's going to give me a, a panoramic view of this epic landscape over here. As well as a view of the, the awesome ass life tree behind us. And um, it's just going to be sweet. So let's, without further ado, let us get freaking crafting. Yeah, baby. This is sweet. Greetings, citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the Mole Castle in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. And in the previous episode, we were finishing off building our room in the Mole Castle, and it is looking amazing, guys. In this episode, we are going to be venturing on an adventure. But before we go out, I want to show you all the awesome work that I've done to the mole hole, guys. And I'd love to know what you guys think about all the improvements. As you can see, we've added glass panes to all the windows. We've added a sort of wooden platform to the base of, the, of my room to just to make it look a little bit sweeter. We um, have added glass windows to the different levels as you go up. Um, we'll have a look at what that looks like inside. Check it out, man. It looks really sweet. And here you can see the windows that have been added. Um, what else have we done today? Um, let's go upstairs and have a look what else we've done. We've added more windows on this side. We've dug out another sort of room here. I don't know what this is going to be, but we've just dug out this space. We're going to use this for something. At some point, um, we've added windows all the way up in this business. As you can see, it is looking so sweet. Damn! Look at this, man. This is looking so awesome. And let me take you into our room. Let's have a look once again at the amazing panoramic view that our, this new room of ours is giving us. Oh, goodness. You can see I've taken down some of the trees now also. So we've got a much clearer view of the biome now. Um, I know it sucks to take down the trees, but hey, um, you know, it was something that had to happen, I'm afraid. 
and right now what I want to do is go to the top of the skylight and just have a have a quick check down to see what it looks like um, to see what our the, the, our roof looks like and see what the mole hole is looking like from the very top oh, guys it has been an epic 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 Minecraft session the last couple of sessions I've had of crafting um, of building and all of that good jazz and as you can see it is looking really sweet guys I hope you like what I've done with the mole hole. Check at that, man. Look how awesome that is looking. Oh my goodness, that is looking so sweet. But in this episode, guys, we are heading out to the winter tundra where we're going to be building a, a mining outpost, a strip mine outpost. One, two, three. What was I saying? Sorry, guys, I got distracted by the building. Um, I'm going to have like a building on the, on the top, but underneath the building are, are going to be like sort of caved rooms. Um, much like a like an, uh, you would find in any mine, right? So this is this is going to sort of be the building, and then under underneath the building will be a whole bunch of rooms. So guys, I'm going to finish off the walls of this building, and we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, we are back, and as you can see, we have completed the wall of this outpost. And for now, I'm not going to make a door because that's just going to let creepers and stuff in. But for now, this is going to be the wall of the outpost. And eventually, what we'll do is build a coned roof, and uh, that is going to be sweet. But for now, we want to get working on our mining outpost. So what I'm going to do is go downwards like this. Um, and then I'm going to branch out and make four rooms um, in four different directions. And well, maybe maybe we'll just make one big room, um, and then what we're going to do is is use ladders to get down here. Um, so I think that's probably high enough for now. Um, so so we are actually we are underground now. So I think what I'm going to do now is make one big square room, and then from that square room we will have smaller rooms coming off it but the the, the square room is going to be like where the the mining actually begins and i'll show you exactly what i mean by that um when we get to that point um let me just light this up a bit but for now all we have to do is dig out a huge square room um and then we're going to be able to start making our shafts all the way down to bedrock um, and then we're going to be able to start strip mining the crap out of that out of the out of them uh, things <laughs> so guys i tell you what i'm going to put this on pause well i'm just going to stop recording <laughs> until this big room is made and we will see you on the other side of this freaking crafting welcome back guys we're at the top of the new mining outpost strip mine and as you can see i've made four staircases that are that are all going to eventually go down to bedrock right now they they don't go all the way down but eventually they will and that is going to mean that uh, that we're going to be able to mine in four different directions uh, we're going to be able to strip mine in four different directions basically and what eventually we're going to do is build um, a mine cart net uh, you, you know we're going to build a railway uh, system all the way down these stairways all the way to the bottom so it's going to be easy to get up and down and um, it is going to be sweet guys we're going to make other rooms in here also to store all the stuff to smelt all the stuff and basically this is going to become our mining outpost whenever we need to get diamonds and stuff we are going to come all the way here so the Great Bridge, inspired by my favorite bridge in the world, London Bridge. Oh man, what an epic build that was. I loved making this bridge so much and I was so freaking happy with the outcome and I still love the bridge. Um, and in this texture pack, it looks just as good as it does in our other texture pack. So man, sweet times ahead. Um, that is exactly what we started to do once we'd gotten back from making the outpost, making the strip mines and whatnot, we decided to connect the outpost to the mole hole and for that we needed a bridge. And this is what was the result of that need. And it, is, it has just been serving us so well, allowing us to travel freely between the outpost, the lakeside villa and the mole hole without any distractions or anything. Although we've had a couple of run-ins with mobs along the line, but so far so good. We just absolutely love this freaking um, railway network and the bridge what good times it was making the structure let's do this let's do this properly man let's see exactly what our freaking sweet ass railway network is going to look like so it's going to come like this it's going to come up here we're going to have to change all of this to, to wood obviously it's going to come like this it's going to turn right turn left and then go all the way up like in a nice angle it's going to come all the way down like this, right? It's going to be sweet. And, uh, and then it's going to connect up to that bridge. And it's going to, th that's going to connect up to the Great Road, which is going to go all the way to the freaking Mole Castle. Let us figure out how to make a freaking minecart. 
I think you need um, irons. I have the irons. Is it like this? It is a minecart. Excellent. Oh, man. I've been watching um, a lot of um, Bertie and, and, and the other chap um, recently. Man, those guys are awesome. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just search for Bertie, Bertie and Game Chap, I believe is what they're called. Man, they're funny guys. They, they make Minecraft videos also. They're so awesome. Um, if Bertie was here, he would just blow up all my shit, though. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, this has been a freaking sweet-ass episode. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Let's see if we can get all the way down to the freaking outpost in our new minecart system. Get out of the freaking minecart! Get in the minecart! Go, 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 go! Sweet! Oh, yeah, there the main man. Take the corner! Take the corner! And go all the way down! <laughs> Bam! That was sweet, guys. Oh, my God. That is so awesome. Oh, I'm so, so freaking happy with this, guys. Go forward! Here we go. Oh, this is working. This is freaking working. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, my God, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Check it out, man. Powered railway system. Powered freaking railway system. Oh, 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 yeah. This is the business. Oh, man. This is so... Oh, God. This is like the happiest day in my Minecraft life, man. Look at this. All the way back to the freaking molehole. Hello, molehole. Oh, man. That was epic. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait for me. <laughs> yeah. This is like a ride. Woo Man, I could just do this all freaking day. And of course, we spend a lot of time figuring out how to add power to the rails, which you can see we did here, allowing us to automatically travel between um, the mole hole and the outpost. And of course, soon in season two, the lakeside villa. And man, it was sweet times. And of course, once we connected the mole hole to the outpost, we were ready to build the giant lava ball, which of course became known as the giant lava ball of death. And if you guys can't remember why we named it the giant lava ball of death, sit back and relax, because you're about to find out. It's kind of it's kind of sweet, like just just as like an observing um, post, isn't it? It's pretty it's pretty cool. Now we're gonna actually need a ridiculous amount of lava to fill this. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, Unless we can make an infinite lava source, which we might try and do. Um, one of you guys gave me um, an idea of how to make an infinite lava source. Okay, so I think that is probably, I mean, that is, that is pretty big already. So now what we need to do is, is work back in, um, inside the ball, right? So if we put... Oh man, what a view. Jeez. This game is just so beautiful, man. Sometimes it just takes my breath away. It's so awesome. Okay, so... Mm. Right, let's get, let's get a couple torches up in this beer's nears. Just so that we can see what the freak we're doing. Um, okay, so this is going to be like the, the center of the ball. I think what we'll do is... Um, I think I think it's already... Um, I think there's already a layer. Yes, there is. Okay, there is. Okay, cool, cool. Never mind, ignore me. I was, I was literally just talk, talking to my freaking self there. Okay, so check it out, guys. Now we're, 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 we're coming to finishing off um, the ball see that it's about to be enclosed um, and then we, we build one more layer there so that is that is the ball of lava it doesn't look like a ball it looks like a square all right guys so let, let's see if we can make um, an infinite lava source oh we've got this problem again have we All right, here we go. So, an infinite lava source needs to have um, 
well, I think what we'll do is just is build a solid little piece of, uh, of platform here, right? So we can work out exactly how to make the lava. And according to you guys, the infinite lava source needs to be um, an X. So um, let's just carry on making this a little bit bigger. No! No! <laughs> No, I, I let go of shift. I let go of shift. 26 levels. Gone. 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 Oh, God, guys. Oh, my Lord. I knew it. I freaking knew the giant lava ball would result in our, our death. Oh, my Lord. That is painful. And, 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 and. I didn't take my diamond armor off, even though I, I promised you guys I would. Oh, man. That, that. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, man. That, I mean, that sucks. There's the lava. Um, I don't want this welder. One bucket lava, two bucket lava. Whoa! Oh my god. I just freaking crapped myself, man. Oh, you bastard welder. <laughs> that was close, guys. That was unbelievably close. Oh god. My heart is racing. I'm sweating. Oh lord. Okay, well, thank God we got all these buckets because we're going to have to head back down for some mo lava. Let's just do what we can. Yeah, it's annoying that it doesn't flow this way um, on, from either side for some reason. Okay, guys, so we're going to have to head back down uh, to get some more lava. So I tell you what, I'm going to um, pause this recording right here and when we... Um, are getting the lava we will see you back so guys um we will be back in one freaking second and we will have a whole bunch of freaking lava all right guys we are back and as you can see we have a freaking ton of lava and we are heading back up to the freaking mole castle and to the top of the uh life tree where we're going to try and finish the ball of lava today man it's been a couple of episodes now working on this freaking ball and this ball is beginning to piss me off we, uh, we already gave one of our lives to the, the construction of this ball, but I have to say, if I was going to die for anything in the series, I don't mind dying for the lava ball, man, because it is sweet. Man, I, I wish we could see the bridge um, from here, but it doesn't seem, we, we, it doesn't seem that we can, unfortunately. Um, right, so to the top again with all of this freaking lava, and uh, we're going to see if we can fill up the lava ball today. The problem is that... Um, the, the glass seems to be stopping the spread of the lava, so you literally have to fill every single square of the ball, um, which means requiring just an insane amount of lava. Man, you can see it up there. It's looking now, back into the danger zone. Oh, man. All right, so no, now we're getting to the tricky part. Um, filling in these squares over here. Oh my lord. Okay, so um, let let us get rid of that. Oh god. That was so it soon became very important for us to get animals because we needed uh, a whole bunch of wool to make roofs, we needed steaks to make food, we needed bacon. We needed a whole bunch of stuff from our animals and that's exactly what we started to do and um, as you can see what happened is um, the animal pens shot up and now you can see they are flourishing and all of the animals are getting busy getting busy but let me tell you it was quite something getting the animals into their pens um, good times <laughs> and uh, almost tragic times too guys so sit back let's let's watch how we got these animals to the animal pens all right, so if we if we continue with the wooden slab idea, um, 
Man, slab is one of those words that starts sounding really ridiculous after you say it, you know, a lot of times. Slab. Your mama's a slab. <laughs> oh man, sick burn. You see, I hear you. Where are you, you sheepy bastard? Show yourself. Ooh, there's some leopards up there. You leave the sheep alone, you little bastards. Check at them, and they are on the hunt. Get away from the sheep! <laughs> Hello there, little sheepy. Don't what? Don't you worry? I will protect you from this leopard. Sheepy, do you want some of this? Yes, you do, don't you? Come, come, come with me, and you shall have some. <laughs> I'm like the Pied Piper. Come on, come on, little sheepy. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Follow me. In here. In here. And sit. What happened there? Did I give it did I give him some? Man, he is loving me. Damn. Sheepies. Sheepies. Man, I need a I need to light up that cave over there, man. And who knew you could break stuff with wheat? We just some strong ass shit in this game. Right, let's go find that cow. Moo! Moo! Oh man! The giant ball of lava gets me every time, man. So sweet. I still need to. Oh man, I still need to finish that platform up there also. Just reminding myself of all the stuff I have to do. There! There! Where was that? Oh, there you are! Hello, my cow-alicious friend! You shall not be turned into a steak today. No need to hide. Hello! Would you like some of this here wheat? Yes, you would, wouldn't you? Come! 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 Worry not, there are no trains running today. It is a public holiday. Come, you little bugger. This way. Hello. In you go. Come on. Have some of that, man. There you go. He is... No. Bad. Naughty. There is your new home. And guess what? I have a really hot date waiting for you there. A very hot date. She's put on her makeup. And she is ready to rock and roll, if you know what I'm saying. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Road, your new home. It's cool, isn't it? Yep, you can hear your friend, can't you? Well, soon to be your lover. <laughs> Step aside, stripey. We got a new member of the family. Stay. All right, let's see if we can make them mate. There we go. Wow, they really... Wow, they were... Jeez, that was quick. Awesome! <laughs> we have mating sheep. That is so sweet. Come, little guy. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. And I mean, I'm not even joking. Oops. Dead end. Seriously, dude, come with me if you want to live. Because there is a creeper with your freaking piggy name on it. He wants to turn you into some bacon. Are you aching, yup, 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 for some bacon? Come on, you bastard. Come on. Don't make me baconize your ass. Come on, we're almost there. Come on, little guy. Holy God. We have been waylaid by enemies. Ow. You bastard. Leave me and the pig alone. Yeah, piggy. We're almost home. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Um, we need to go this way. Don't fall down the hole. I'm telling you, man, these rails are a blessing and a curse. Come on. Come on, little piggy. Welcome to your new home. 
I hope you enjoy your stay. Standing on a railway line is not a good idea. Come. Come forth. Meet your livestock brethren. Welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Sheep and their new, newly born sheepy child. And welcome to the cow, also. And, um, this will be your new home. So, come. And let's quickly fence you off before you wander away. I'm afraid we're going to have to fix your, um, your pen at some point, my little friend. But for now... You have been trapped. I have tricked you. Ha 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 ha. He is he's upset. He's turned his back to me. He's like, I can't believe I fell for it. What kind of a freaking piggy noob am I? Sorry, buddy. You know you, you only exist to make bacon, right? <laughs> oh man, this has been a, a super funny episode, guys. We are gathered here today. To mourn the loss of Randog, who died like a noob while trying to place ladders. May he rest in pieces. <laughs> hey guys, here we go. Our new gravestone has been placed. Um, I died underneath the lakeside villa trying to place ladders when I could have just easily used a water vator. But here is our new grave in the graveyard. And of course the graveyard popped up because we realized that we died quite a few times and uh, it was time to show the noobness that is Rendog forever immortalized in the graveyard. And uh, here we are, all the deaths from season one. I do believe there might be one death missing, but um, all of the deaths from season one. And <laughs> it was it was great making the graveyard, guys. It was a lot of fun. And uh, man, why don't we take a look at how this graveyard came into existence. Kaplium! And then something occurred to me, man. I need to build something to remind myself of all the freaking times that I've died like a noob. And um, guys, it's really important to know um, the times that you've died like a noob because it stops you dying like a noob the next time. And what I've done is built this bridge over um, and through the jungle biome as you can see and uh, there's a sweet ass lake down there um, but I have built myself a graveyard to commemorate the times that I've died in this series man and hopefully there's not going to be too many uh, more gravestones added but this is the Ren Dog graveyard and over here we can see we are gathered here today in sadness and in utter, uh, utter grief to commemorate the time when Rendog died like a noob in lava while he was in search of bling. May his soul rest in peace. And we are also gathered here today to commemorate the time when Rendog fell to his death when trying to build the great lava bull. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs> so guys, welcome to the graveyard. Welcome to the Ren Dog graveyard. And hopefully there's not going to be too many more gravestones added to this, man. Right, so what are we what are we gonna what are we doing here? So we've got wheat um, and we need the hoe. And we've got our hose. So let us get hoeing. No! It's the wrong freaking way around. Oh god. That is that is not good. That is not good. I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to deal with this like this. Um, man, why? Why is it the wrong way around? That is so annoying. Well, I guess it's. I guess it's okay. Okay, guys, you let me know, man. If you think if you are not happy with um, this. With the, the rose being in this direction, let me know and I will change it, man. I will make it face, I'll make the water face in that direction instead. Um, but that is, that is so irritating. Oh, God. You see, because if it, oh, oh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see what I mean, but. I guess it's kind of cool. All right. Anyway. Let us continue. Let us continue hoeing. All right, so as you can see, man, this is gonna this is gonna yield us some epic crops already. 
already those crops are beginning to like burst into life um, on the right hand side there you can see that they're already they're already starting to kick in um, which is sweet and um, I don't we're gonna see now if we can actually do the same thing for the sugarcane um, I hope so I do hope so let me tell you something cyber dogs if notch was here he would be freaking proud of our minecraft farm man it is looking so freaking sweet and of course uh, we decided to build a farm that would support the giant freaking mole castle that had just popped up and of course um, make us a whole bunch of paper so that we could get um, our asses enchanting and man a whole bunch of pumpkins up in this business um, and man we built a little barn and an infinite water source too and man it is looking sweet around here um, let why don't we go back and watch how this farm came to be guys um, really really epic times um, for the molehill castle for the community of the, the molehill castle all the servants that work for me <laughs> they now have free food and whatnot guys so we'll see you on the other side of this um, let's go relive the building of the farm kaplayam guys you can see that we have completed most of the farm now and you can see what i've done is added a well over there and that was one of your guys suggestions you guys said why not make an infinite water source well in the middle which i have done you can see it over there man it's looking sweet don't worry guys in future episodes we'll come and have a closer look at the farm i've also added slabbage all the way around this bad boy and um as you can see the pumpkins are growing i mean the, the melons are growing in the background there the wheat is flourishing and the freaking sugar cane is going cray cray so our farm is kicking off guys i've also taken down this tree to give us a better view of the mole hole in the background and um oh man it's just it's all good times guys and i just want to thank all of y'all for the amazing feedback that you've been giving me about the farm and, and all the amazing hints and tips you've given me guys really it's been really sweet and thank you and look how awesome the farm is looking now sitting in this valley um uh you know just next to the mole hole which is over here man sweet if there was a defining moment in this series that i could say was my favorite moment of the entire series i would have to say it was the construction of the dogolith guys um i don't know where it came to me from i don't know how i thought about it but suddenly one day i woke up and i just had an epiphany and i just realized that i wanted to do something for all the people out there who spend their lives watching my videos and supporting me and leaving comments and just be, be, being a part of my community i wanted to do something for them and uh this it was the result this is the dogolith baby this is a structure dedicated to the subscribers of this channel to the fans of this series and to the people who give as much time as i do to this whole freaking cyber dog community man and guys um, it was just an epic, epic time in the series for me, and I just absolutely loved it. So why don't we sit back and uh, watch how the Dogolith came to be. No, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> you guys thought that I wasn't going to do a Dogolith entry. <laughs> That's what you thought, didn't you? Well, I tricked your asses. We're going to do a massive Dogolith entry right now, guys, and then we are going to go and watch how the Dogolith came to be. So guys, let us get busy getting busy getting some of your bastards onto the Dogolith. All right, Cyber Dogs, I've got you onto the Dogolith. And from YouTube, we've got Zoe Winslow, Dexom, The Staple 77, Earth Grant, Ben Cuomo, Karim Kowalski, Is, Is Manimal, and Tom Howard. And from Dogcraft.net, we've got Solo uh, 009H, Burnt Bread, sweet name. And uh, Nick IRL5, Realms Gamer 1, Troy Callow, Jackman Crazy, Gareth Gold, and the Piggleman 712. Welcome to the Dogolith, guys. Our final entry for this season. Man, now guys, let's sit back and relax. Let's see how the Dogolith and the Dogolith Courtyard came to be. We are going to be working on something unbelievably epic. Oh, 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 hang on. Did you say that you see something behind me? You see something behind me? What in the name of all that is holy is that? OMG, people, what is going on out there? Well, well, let me tell you, it is something sweet that I think you guys are going to absolutely love, man. I've been spending 
quite a long time now building this because it's been quite a slog to get this done and um what you are looking at now is the spire that is going to become the mob spawner oh yes this is going to be the mob spawner guys it is going to be absolutely epic oh and but what's that in the distance you see over there hmm that's looking interesting isn't it well guys i'll tell you what i'm not going to tell you what it is now we are going to go and have a look for our freaking selves. And uh, man, it is sweet. Now, guys, while we make our way there, I've made some ladders here so we can get to the top of the spire and then get all the way to where we're going. I want to thank all of you for all the amazing feedback and the amazing comments um, that you guys have been giving me. And guys, I want to make a now make a big shout out to all my cyber dogs on dogcraft.net. Guys, it's a brand new website that I have launched to... Uh, give all the dogs who watch this series the opportunity to go hang out. So go check it out, guys. Dogcraft.net. We've got a whole bunch of peeps there. Right? I think we've got 200 members already. And uh, we just hang out there and chat. And um, it is really sweet. But guys, let us talk about what is going on up in this business. Because you can see that something has sprouted on top of the molehole. And um, this, guys, this structure in the middle here, this is going to be known from now on as the Dogolith. That's right, guys. This is a massive monolith that is dedicated to you guys that watch me uh, on YouTube every single day, guys. I decided that I want to do some. I wanted to do something for you, and um, I am going to be making sure that every single um, episode that we make, we are going to be adding one of your guys' names to the Dogolith, and eventually this Dogolith is going to be massive, and it's just going to be loads of subscribers. Um, loads of subscribers on the dogolith um and it's going to be absolutely sweet guys so um now i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to do a leap of faith here bam oh <laughs> ouchies um man that was close oh damn right guys so this is the dogolith welcome to the Dogolith Courtyard. And in the Dogolith Courtyard, we have task pillars. I decided to use the mossy cobblestone that we found ages ago to make um, what I am calling task pillars, guys. And what these task pillars are, are all the stuff that we have to do in this series. A lot of you guys have been saying that what I need to do is focus on a task and finish it before moving on to the next one. And uh, that is exactly what these pillars are going to help us do, guys. Um, and this right here, you can see, is the Dogolith. I've already put my name onto it. Um, and in this episode, we're going to be adding a few of you guys um, who commented on the previous video. So the way that it's going to work, guys, is I'm going to just randomly take subscriber names from the previous video and just add th uh, three or four names every episode to the Dogolith. Um, and it's going to be just from random pages. It, c it could be anyone. I'm not going to make a preference for anyone. It's just going to be taken random. So let's let's do the first freaking Dogolith entry, guys. I am on episode 54 and I'm just going to take a random name from page one. Nicolo E. There. Baron. Oh man, your name's too long. Nicolo. E de. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with Nicolo Baron. <laughs> if you, dudes, if your name is too long, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shorten it. Right, now we're gonna go to page five of the comments and choose somebody on there. Um Tasman West. <laughs> and now we're gonna go to page eight of the comments um, to look for another name. And we have got Waffletron 500. <laughs> That's a sweet name. And lastly but not leastly, guys, page 11, we have got Pew Da Pew Da Pew Pew Da Pew. Wait, hang on. Pew Da Pew Fan. I, I, I'm hoping I'm saying Pew Da Pew right. Nana 2. Awesome, guys. Um, Sweet, and welcome to the freaking Dogolith, guys. The first four entries on the Dogolith are done, and man, in a hundred episodes time, we're going to look at this Dogolith, and it's just going to be covered in your guys' names. And I just want to take this opportunity while I'm here at the Dogolith to thank all of you guys for all the support as always, and hopefully the series will continue, and um, we will continue having fun together. And God damn, this is the sweetest, man. I love the Dogolith. It is so cool. And Oh man, the Dogolith, so sweet guys, and don't worry, in Season 2 we're going to be doing Dogolith entries too, so you still stand a chance of getting on there, and all you got to do is be a subscriber to this YouTube channel, or be on dogcraft.net and leave 
the odd comment here and there, guys, and I choose randomly from both, and you can get your asses on there in Season 2. Guys, the next big construction that we undertook was the mob spawner. And the idea was to make a dark room mob spawner. You can see it there in the background. Um, let me let me get let me get you, but yes, there's a better view. There it is, all the way in the background. And, and we successfully made it work. And uh, man, it was an epic freaking build, guys. So let's watch how the mob spawner came to be. And then just build the walls of the canal. Right? And then we're going to fill these in. And then, well, we won't do it now, but we will be putting the water in there and then the, the canals will be populated. So that is sweet. All right, guys, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into fast forward mode right now and I'm just going to finish off um, all four canals. And once all four canals have been built, we will be back together. So um, let's, let's jump into fast forward mode. Kablam! Alright guys, so all four canals have now been built and that is looking sweet! Oh yeah! Oh wait, hang on. Alright guys, so I'll tell you what, we're gonna, we're gonna hit fast forward mode again and um, I'm just gonna finish off making these canals and we will see you back in a, in a jiffy! Cyber Dogs, this is Ren Dog coming at you from the Great Railway in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. And there in the distance, you can see what we were working on in the previous episode, and that is a vertical dark room mob spawner, people. And as you can see, it has been worked on and it is looking as sweet. Damn! <laughs> I spent basically half of my Sunday building this freaking thing, and um, it is looking absolutely awesome, guys. I really love what I've done with all the wood and um, the shape of it and everything, guys. But, whoa! Whoa, you, you bastard! I'm speaking to the freaking cyber dogs, man! Come on! Come on, you butthole! <laughs> man, he, he sidestepped me. Anyway, guys, I've spent a lot of time on this mob trap. And I, I've had to spend a lot of time on it because it actually wasn't working. In the first rendition of the Mob Trap, it actually wasn't working. And thanks to you guys, and thanks to all of your advice, and all of the amazing feedback that you gave me on the video, guys, and on dogcraft.net, I have been able to complete this freaking Mob Trap. And believe it or not, it is actually working. It's not working as well as I'd hoped, but it is working. Die by the hand of wheat. Burn. Yes. Burn, you bastard. <laughs> Man, that, that is a demoralizing way to go. Killed by wheat. <laughs> Alright, so well clearly they can spawn here, so let's light this business up. Alright, cows. You know what time it is. It's food time, but it's also uh, it's also murder time. Make babies, because you are about to die. Oh, isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Hey piggies, you also need to make some babies. Come on, get busy. Get busy getting busy. Yeah, I would also be screaming if I was you. The end is nigh, cows. Sorry, man. Hello there. Die, you bastards! Die, you bastards! Die! 
Man, that is a lot of steak. Oh. I hit the little baby. Alright, you two are going to have to regrow the cow population. Good luck. Godspeed. <laughs> of all the things that I built in this series, the mob spawner definitely took the longest, man. Making that thing work was just, oh my goodness, it was so many untold hours of unrecorded footage that you guys never saw that I spent making that thing work. But I'm so happy that it's working now, guys. And of course, once we started getting that thing working, we knew that we would be able to get experience out the wazoo and it was time to build the enchanting table. And that is exactly what we did. We erected the wizard's tower, which looks a little something like this in the default texture pack. And of course, inside that huge thing of library books is the enchanting table, guys. Let us go and watch how this whole freaking thing came to be. Now, in this episode, what I want to do is start construction of the enchanting room now i was just going to build the enchanting room in, in a room in the mole hole but i've decided that that's really really boring so what i want to do is sort of stick with this kind of um, spire theme that we've got going in the mole hole and i want the um the enchanting room to sort of come out the back there um, almost like a wizard's tower right and i'm going to actually make the wizard's tower out of blue I'm going to make the roof out of blue wool, so it's actually going to look like a wizard's tower. Um, and it's going to stick out a little bit from the other structures in the mole hole. So that is going to be sweet. Like that? Ah, bam! Flint and steel, baby. Alright, there we go. Okay, so... Okay, so that is... This is what we're going to use to, to light, I guess. Oh, Lord! Woo! That was dumb. <laughs> So now, hopefully, this is going to blow up everything. Um, whew, man, I am freaking nervous. I, 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 seriously, I, I don't think this is the greatest idea. But I think um, so. Now, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna set this ba bad boy in fine and fine, and then fall and run ASAP. Whoa! Whoa! Kablooey! <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Hey, that actually worked. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Check it out. We we that I can't believe that actually worked. That is awesome. We actually just blew up a huge we just got rid of a huge um, portion of of what we have to excavate here. That was so awesome. Check it out. Bam! Oh man, that was so cool. All right, sweet guys. So let's do this, man. Let's finish the last freaking wall of this um, enchanting room of the wizard's tower man it's gonna be awesome so it, it's so it's so awesome how in minecraft how um you kind of it, it's weird because when i first started thinking about minecraft i always wondered like can you actually get really good at minecraft is there is it like counter strike or starcraft where you're, you can actually get really good and what defines um, being good at, at Minecraft. What is the definition of being good at Minecraft? And I think that Minecraft, more than any other game, you, the, your, your um, proficiency in Minecraft is determined by your creativity, right? Um, not only your building skills, but um, the real skill in this game is being able to convert um, an idea that you have into a reality um, using, using the blocks that you have. And it's, it's maybe not necessarily um, about like raw skill, like APM, or, which is actions per minute, by the way, guys. Um, you know, it's, it's, maybe, it's not necessarily about that. It's, it's more about being able to have a vision and um, convert that vision into a reality. Um, and that's what I think makes this game so freaking sweet. Come on, butthole. Deliver more goods. Deliver the goods. Come on. <laughs> I love it when the butthole delivers. Now, back to the wizard's tower, guys, and then it is time. Ah, the butthole delivered. <laughs> Just had a bit of constipation. Um, but now, now things are flowing, man. He's having all brand flakes for breakfast. That butthole is regular as regular as can be. <laughs> ah, all right, guys. So in. In witness of all the people on the Dogolith, they're about to witness the first enchanting table being placed in this series. And oh my goodness, it is a new era for us. It's a new era for this series. Um, and it's a new era for 
let's play Minecraft with Rendog because it means that I'm going to be able to go to the nether with my newly freaking enchanted goods and um, we are not going to die like freaking noobs when we get there so this is seriously seriously exciting stuff guys um, oh man I hope nothing spawned down there let's have a look. yeah all right let's do this baby oh yeah it is time to place the first enchanting table mm. damn this is exciting times kablam oh that is awesome and look at all the knowledge and all the goodness and all the freaking amazing stuff coming from our bookshelves straight into the AS of the enchanting table. Let's get rid of this because I wanted it to float. I want it to look really sweet like it's floating. Um, and that is what I'm talking about, guys. That is awesome. So let's go enchanting, man. Let's get our sword up to beast level and get our pickaxe up to beastier level um, than it already is. Man, I hear a freaking spider in here. Hey! Not welcome! But bandit. Right. <laughs> so let's do the pickaxe first, right? Um, boom. Now, 30. We got 30 right away, guys. We got 30 right away. Epicness. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. Bam! Efficiency 4, unbreaking 3. Now, if that isn't an, an amazing mining pickaxe, I don't know what is. Oh my giddy aunt, guys, how sweet does the NPC village look in the default texture pack? Man, it looks awesome. Uh, here we are at the NPC village at the end of the, um, the great railway line. Um, man, far away from the molehole, guys, but that was an interesting freaking time that we just watched, wasn't it? Um, man, epic, epic construction of the wizard's tower. And of course, um, that was just the start and and since then we've been able to enchant everything that we wanted to but following that probably came the most controversial part of season one and of course that was episode 69 and man it was um, <laughs> it was it was an interesting time and an interesting response from everybody and um, we're gonna relive the drama of episode 69 um, and of course the one point the minecraft 1.3 adventure that sh that followed shortly after guys so sit back relax let's get back to blowing up the mole hole <laughs> oh hero brine hear me today for it is this eve that i offer you something far greater than my soul tonight beneath the stars and in witness of all minecraftians across the universe I am offering to you my most precious and most holy possession. The Mole Hole. Oh, Hero Brine, with a flick of this lever, I shall give forth to you all that I have built. And I ask you to come forth and show yourself that I may join your legions. And we may take over all of Minecraft here, once and for all. And so, I make this sacrifice for all Minecraftians, so that Herobrine may show his dastardly face. Rest in peace, Mole Hole. I will always love you. <laughs> Dog coming at you from the side of a cliff in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.3 survival series. And in the previous episode, we were on our very first 1.3 adventure, and we are, are just currently deciding whether to go um, left, right, center. Uh, we're just trying to figure out exactly in which direction we should go. And I'm thinking that um, we should probably head in this direction um, because the direction that we've just come from hasn't really yielded any results. And um, we look at this man. We have just entered what look wow. This is a, this is a freaking sweet-ass place 
Um, so let let us let us carry on in this direction, guys. So, oh damn, am I excited about playing Minecraft today, guys? I woke up this morning in such a good Minecraft mood, man. I was like, I want to get playing Minecraft 1.3 with my cyber dogs. Because damn, it is 1.3 and it is exciting times and we are on a mission to find some new 1.3 stuff. Um, this is this is getting precarious, as Mr. Toby Turner would say. Oh, but the sun is coming up. You're all going to burn. Yes, that's right. You're all going to burn. <laughs> and I'm going to watch you and I'm going to laugh. I was looking at the Google Analytics stats of my YouTube channel. And man, it is absolutely crazy, guys. There are cyber dogs subscribed to this channel from all over the freaking world. And let me just try and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't push me into the lava, you bastard! Let me try to put that into perspective. According to Google, Google Analytics, my channel has um, viewers from over 150 freaking countries, people. 150 countries! Woo! That is insane. I mean, that is crazy, man. We got people watching from all over the freaking shop, man. And we've got a huge, huge pack of cyber dogs in the Philippines. Man, I love you guys. You guys are really, really awesome. You're always chatting to me on um, dogcraft.net or on YouTube, sending me sweet ass messages. We've got, man, we've got loads of viewers from the United States of America. Man, and I love you guys, man. You guys are the sweetest. Um, whoa, there's a lot of freaking lava up in this business. Um, man, we've got people from all over the show, man. We've got people from South Africa, from my hometown, um, watching on their really slow-ass broadband, um, wasting... <laughs> in South Africa, uh, you have a, a cap on how much st uh, stuff you can download. And um, these, these awesome South Africans are, like, using up their cap to, like, to watch my videos, which is really awesome. I love you guys, man. Um, and, man, we've got people from all over the show, man. We've even got people from Russia watching, from Poland from um, loads from the United Kingdom, obviously. And man, it's just, just so awesome that Minecraft is able to bring like so many different people together from all over the world. Um, I, think it's, I think it's really awesome that um, how Minecraft breaks the boundaries, basically, um, of the world. And it, you know, it lets people be friends. Um, it lets people meet, meet each other through like Let's Play series. series. And, and places like dogcraft.net and uh, you know people make friends and buddies that they play Minecraft with from like all over the world you know and it's just man it is sweet um well what's that I think it's just a tree oh hello oh man guys do you see what I see Holy Lord, that is an NPC village made out of sandstone. Oh my God. This is freaking awesome. Oh my God, guys. This has been the most awesome last three episodes of the series so far. Oh, my heart is racing. I'm so happy. Look at the size of this freaking. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. I have never seen an NPC village like this before. This is the sweetest, most, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Oh God, the, the, and there's a chest here for sure. Hello chest, what is in there? Oh, rubbish. <laughs> well, apples aren't rubbish, but um, this, oh guys, I cannot believe we found this. This is absolutely awesome, but where are the, the meeples? Hey, hey guys, what? Hey, hey, what's happening? And guess what, guys? I'm not going to be killing you today because I need you to trade, man. Have I got some goodies for you? Mm -mm -mm. Right. Um, what are you hiding up here, man? Hello. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you guys are looking a little bit suspicious up in here. What have you two been doing up here? Hmm? <laughs> they turn their back on me like... Don't ask me such crazy questions. Leave us to our privacy, please. Right, guys, this is epic. We have found an NPC village fairly close to the mole hole, and we are going to be building, without a shadow of a doubt, we are going to be building um, a freaking railway system to this NPC village. 
oh, this is the most epic thing ever. I'm so freaking stoked with this. Um, I love the way this NPC village looks. It's just so freaking awesome. So big also, man. Wow, there are a lot of girls in this village. Um, wow. All right. Okay, I'll just... Hmm. Awkward. I, I'm just going to go over here. <laughs> Not entirely sure what you guys are up to over there, but um, it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> um, I'm just checking all the, the houses, just in case there's another chest. This looks like a very nice little place. I think I'll make this my home when eventually we connect um, this NPC village to the more hall. Yeah, I think, I think I've found my home. This is the most epic thing, guys. I am, oh my god, I'm so happy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is unreal. Um, happiest, happiest freaking cyber dog in the world, man. And look, they've even got their little thing going on over here. Their awesome little farmland. And uh, what is this? I've never seen like this little thing. This kind of thing out here. Um, this just confirms that I definitely want to be building the lakeside villa in this style, I think. I, it just looks absolutely epic. I'm sure you guys will agree. Um, and if we dig these out and put the slabbage... There we go. Sweet, guys. So what we're going to do is basically dig downwards in this direction, um, in this general direction making stairs obviously where we can and oh man yeah because this is all i didn't think about this is all dead this is all desert sand so oh look and we found some sandstone baby awesome stuff guys so i'll tell you what i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna record this digging process because it's gonna take quite a long time but um we once we get into a cave system of some kind we will be back together and uh, we will be going to mine and harvest as many sweet ass resources as we can. We're specifically looking for iron um, and sandstone uh, bricks. That's specifically what we're looking for, guys. But by the magic of the internet, I will see you somewhere near the bottom of Minecraft in one second. Kablam! All right, cyber dog and dogs, we are back and we have broken into a cave system. And I can hear water and I can hear skeletons. And I can see light, and we found a mine shaft. Mm. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Noob Tours. Please keep your stumps and stick arms inside the vehicle at all times. Now before you, you can see our first stop of the tour, the Great Noob Crater, created in 2012 by one of the noobiest Minecrafters in the world, Rendog. The crater was created as Rendog ran from the NPC village towards a group of creepers. Shortly afterwards, one of the creepers blew up his ass, thus creating the crater for all to see. The crater shall remain here outside the NPC village for all to admire for eternity, and as a reminder of the noobness that is Rendog. Otherwise known as Ren Diggity Dog, Ren the Big Dog, or quite oddly, Ren Cat. Next stop on our tour, we are heading towards the Great Forest, where we will be able to see what we can do. We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Ren Dog, who died like a noob outside the NPC village. May his soul rest in pieces. So that epic 1.3 adventure led to us finding this amazing NPC village. And of course, what we did was we um, dug an adventure shaft right outside the village right over here and this goes all the way down into an abandoned mine shaft man epic freaking times uh, really amazing and lucky finds for us in that part of the of the series and was an amazing time but of course it was also a time scarred with noobness and this is of course where I um, ate a creeper to the AS and died like a noob and of course this is the great noob crater circa 2012 <laughs> 
But of course, we needed a way to connect the mole hole to this village. And so what we started to do and what we started to conceptualize was the construction of what is one of my favorite builds in this entire season. And of course, that is Grand Mole Hole Station. And it is oh, just one of the best things I've ever made in Minecraft. And I'm so proud of myself having done it in um, survival mode. And uh, we're going to be heading back there right now. But guys, why don't you sit back and relax and let us watch once again how Grand Mole Hole Station came into be and how it was built from basically just a chunk taken out of the side of the Mole Hole uh, mountain and guys we'll see you on the other side of this with Grand Mole Hole Station complete and we're going to be able to see Grand Mole Hole Station in the default texture pack and it is going to be sweet guys we'll see you on the other side of this kaplam I hope you cyber dogs are ready for this because this is the biggest and the most um, elaborate and most shall I say challenging build that I have yet to do in this series and I have spent the last hour or so preparing and guys, I am ready to show you what I am about to build in the mole hole. I have been inspired as the sun comes up behind us because now that we found various different places around our map, I want to connect those places with railroads. And I realize that all of our railroads are really, they just end. They just sort of look at this one. It just sort of ends at the bottom of the mole hole entrance. So guys, without further ado, as the sun rises over my Minecraft world, let me introduce to you grand mole hole station oh yeah baby down there guys you can see i have already dug out a section of the mole hole hill and there i am going to build a train station with an archway and it is going to be built um, it, with the inspiration taken from king's cross saint pancras in london my favorite train station in europe it is really sweet and um just from up here i'll just quickly show you what we're going to be doing we're going to be making these arches like this um, out of wood and ev everything else is going to be glass so it's going to be a really huge light station and then where you see the dirt lines there those are going to be the tracks and then the uh, these cobblestone things over here these are going to be the platforms so this track is going to go around like this and probably go toward the npc village then this track is going to go underneath that and that's going to go to the outpost then this track will go underneath all of those to the to the lakeside villa then this track we don't have a destination for that one yet but this track will then go this way and veer this way um to the lakeside villa probably um i think i just yeah i think i just i said lakeside villa twice but anyway we've got one two three four five five um, platforms to build and those platforms are going to link up the mole hole to all the most important parts of my freaking minecraft world guys oh god i'm so excited to get started on this this is like my this is probably my favorite project today creeper i know you're there man you don't have to you don't have to jump around like a butthole i acknowledge your existence and i will murderize you later um <laughs> all right guys so i'm going to continue making these walls i'm going to put this video into fast forward mode so you don't have to watch um, this very very boring task but I thought you guys might like to see how how many freaking slabs we're gonna get through to to complete this task um, and hopefully we have enough slavage I mean I was complaining in the previous episode about making too much slavage but um, I don't think you can ever have enough slavage <laughs> and you can quote me on that one guys we will see you on the other side of this fast forward and with the power of the internet let us hit supersonic build speed mode. Kablam!
get a cup of coffee, get a cup of soda, and sit down with me, man. It is time to get freaking crafting, baby. Mm. And man, I have been gaining a whole ton of experience from my mob, mob trap, which is delivering beautifully. And I have been receiving enchanted items, including enchanted bows. And I see there was a skeleton up here somewhere that I want to pop a cap in his ass. But he seems to have disappeared. He, he, he knew the pain train was coming so he's <laughs> he's run away but guys look how many freaking levels we've managed to get um while i've been building while i've been building um the mole the, the grand mole hall station i have just been going back and forth collecting experience and as you can see oh look at him there he is eat enchanted arrow into the ass kablam man two shot kill that is sweet um, but as you can see guys i've done a but ton of work including putting down some rails and this is where the piston is going to go that's going to shoot the cart into the powered rail to start the system i've built this wall up here including this um, blockage over here so mobs can't get into us into our station and i've built a sort of um, all the rails are going to go down into this this floor over here and then they're going to branch off in all the directions that we freaking need and um oh man i am so freaking excited oh and Oh man, I haven't showed you the sweetest part yet. I have built the platform signs. Check it out, guys. Um, right, so let's start from the left. We have got all stops to Lakeside Villa. All stops to the second continent. All stops to the NPC village. And then we have a blank railway for, the, for our next project. Um, all stops to the farm. And all stops to the mining outpost. And that is the railway system that we are going to be building um, for now. Let's check it out, right? So, da da da, just woken up. Oh, I gotta go to work or gotta go to school. Into the Mole Hole Grand Station. Bam! Oh man, it is looking. Oh, doesn't it just feel so awesome in here, guys? You know what I mean? It actually feels like a station because of the, um, the immense size of it. It's actually feeling to me like a station. Um, you know the rain is now out because we have a roof but when you look up and when the sun comes out and you can see the sky and everything it's going to just be so freaking sweet man and once i get the torches like this on all the archways also um, that is just going to complete the whole package oh man this is the sweetest i'm so freaking happy with this world guys this has been one of the funnest crafts i've done in um, the series so far guys i hope you've enjoyed it with me um, I know a lot of you guys have really enjoyed this build, so thanks for being with me um, throughout this build, guys. Before we get working on the mob trap, I want to take you on a little spin. Um, we are going to be using this rail track over here, and um, I want to show you some epicness that I've done. Are you guys ready for a freaking ride? Are you ready for a freaking ride? Okay, let's do this, baby. Now, um, this track in particular is going to go to the outpost. Here we go, around the corner. Now we're going to go down the bend, underneath the mole hole here's the old adventure shaft you can see and we're going to be coming all the way up here again and then this is going to carry on all the way to the lakeside villa um, man how sweet is that guys look at this i've made a tunnel underneath the mole hole i think it looks absolutely freaking amazing and now if we take this one back again um, this one would be coming from the outpost obviously and as you can see we've got powered rails going now i don't know if i can actually get up this hill i don't think i have enough gas to get up oh i got enough gas sweet well just enough gas so we need to add a little bit more gas to these rail tracks here still a little bit of work to be done on the railway front and i'm pretty sure we can't get up here um let's see oh god no uh, we just missed it man but whew. This, I'm so freaking happy with how this has turned out. I've been doing a lot of work, as you can see, preparing these tunnels, and I didn't... Hey, come back here, Minecraft! Minecart, you freaking butthole! Um... <laughs>Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the NPC village in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.3 Survival Series. And in the previous episode, we were laying down the railroad all the day long. And uh, we are going to be continually doing that, guys. What, you, uh, what I've done is build a butt-ton of rails, as you can see. Used every single iron block that I have in this series to make these rails. And hopefully it's going to be enough to get there. I'm going to build you a sweet wall around your village, guys. Do not stress, Mayor. Of course, there will be a fee. 
Um, my services don't come for free. That fee will be sacrifice. <laughs> That's right. You better talk to everybody. Every now and then, one of you are going to have to sacrifice your asses. Um, if we want to get good stuff in the chest, we've got to make sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? When we, when we say our chest prayers, we've got to sacrifice. We sacrifice four pigs. That was pretty good. Now we're going to sacrifice some villagers. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. So what, uh, what I think I'm going to do is uh, throw this, this puppy into fast forward while I do this. Um, just because it's, it's going to take quite a long time. So on the other side of the super fast forward, we will see you again. And <laughs> that was crazy, guys. So, wow, look at that. That looks, look, that looks so sweet. So, man, what an epic build Mulhall Station was, guys. And we are just on the railway line that is going to be going into Grand Mulhall Station from the NPC village. And uh, I wanted to give you guys a really good view of Mulhall Station in the default texture pack as we come into the Mole Castle from this journey. And man, once this is all redstoned up and this railway is running properly, it is going to be an epic, epic link. And it's going to be so much fun traveling back and forth between Grand Mole Hall Station and the NPC Village and beyond. Um, and of course, here we, we are coming up to Grand Mole Hall Station on the left hand side. Have your tickets ready, please. There is a ticket inspector who is a creeper butthole waiting for you and your tickets. So here we can see the entrance to Grand Mole Hall Station. Um, with loads of tracks still to be made and of course here is the Grand Mole Hall Station in all of its glory looking absolutely fantastic and of course here is the automatic starting platforms um, which you guys helped me create and just look at this absolutely epic just looking absolutely fantastic and of course um, a lot of work was done on this um, as well as the automatic mob spawner which was next up after we made the, the station so why don't we sit back and relax why don't we see how this entire mob spawner how the butthole as it has been come to be known um, put itself together and how it is generating xp and items for us in this series guys kaplooey and we are ready to freaking get crafting baby mm. all right so what i need to do is make four pistons and four dispensers and i've got the four bows for the dispensers in fact I'm not going to use my enchanted bow. I'm going to use um, four bows. And I'm going to show you guys now how to make pistons. And if none, if you guys, I know there's tons of you who have never used pistons or made pistons or anything. And I didn't either until this series. And I've been experimenting a bit. And I think I know what I'm doing now. So let's get it on, right? So we are making a piston. And it looks a little something like that. You've got to have the walls of the piston. Then you've got to have the, the platform that's going to push up. Then you need a little bit of a, this is, this is like the pole. And then you just need a bit of redstone to, to power it all. And there is a piston. But there's a bow in the middle. And a, there we go. Look at that, man. Dispenser. Um, and the, the dispenser is going to shoot the arrows into the buttholes. Oh, man. They have to they actually, they can't be broken bows. They have to be perfect bows. Um, well, that is, that's not cool. Um, but we've got we've got two dispensers, so we'll be able to make a couple more bows quite easily. In fact, we've got quite a lot of string here, so um, let's let's get busy getting busy making some bows. Now, guys, now we're gonna I'm gonna be able to show you exactly what I'm planning. I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, what the freaking hell is this butthole doing? Well, let me show you. 
So the dispensers are going to go over here. Oh, no, these are the pistons. Man, look at my pickaxe, how amazing it is. It just smashes through everything. I actually can't control it. It's so good. Um, right, so dispenser action. The dispensers are going to go over here. Man, the dispensers look awesome. <laughs> An arrow is going to come out of his mouth into the butthole of the mobs. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't, have, I couldn't ask for a better mob trap than that. Okay, so the, the, the dispensers are here, right? Now, the mobs are going to fall here and land, and then pressing a button on the other side of that glass, the dispensers will shoot an arrow, and because it's um, covering all four things, the, uh, wherever a mob is going to stand, he's going to get his ass arrowed. Um, and he's going to be ta he's not gonna, only going to be taking arrows to the knee, he's going to be taking arrows to the ass. And that is how we like it. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now what we're going to do here is build four pistons over here that are going to hold a block up to block off water. And when I press a button, the pistons will come down and the, the water will, um, will then flow and flush all the items in here down there. So a very simple concept. I have no idea if it's going to work or not, um, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive it's going to. Guys, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of you for all the amazing hints and tips you've given me, um, all the amazing redstone help you've been giving me, guys. I'm a redstone freaking new, but with your help, I'm going to be a redstone boss. And um, in this episode, we're going to be transforming the mob spawner into a dual action mob spawner that's right guys you guys have given me a, a, an amazing advice and so many of you has, have suggested the following this is what we're going to be doing this level which you can see i've lowered by one um, is going to be the fall trap so when the water is off the the mobs are going to fall out of the butthole hit the ground and die and any of them that survive are going to get an arrow to the face and they're going to die and then i'm going to be able to flush their loots from the platform into this collecting area and I'll be able to get all this stuff. But millions of you guys suggested, well not millions, <laughs> but at least 10 suggested that what I do is I make piston, um, a, p a piston pushing platform that makes a XP farm right above this platform down here guys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Actually manage to um, completely wire our first redstone trap um, and it's it's only taken three episodes. I, I was 100% sure it was going to take longer than that. But um, we have done this very, very quickly, very, very efficiently. And um, as you can see, the butthole is delivering absolutely beautifully. Well, it was. Um, I think we're a little bit too close. But eat arrow. I think I may be out of arrows, maybe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I, I may be breaking the circuit. So what we need is like a little step over here, right? Let's just get rid of that. Actually, that should be fine. There should be a piece of redstone down there. So here we go. There we go. Now they're going into the repeaters, right? And that should be connected. So if we, f if we flick this, there we go. So brilliant. Our dispenser is working now. There you can see the arrows. Now let's do a little flush. Get all, get all of the loots that we got. And of course, this is also going to flush the XP from the, the mob trap if any XP gets uh, trapped up there. There you can see all the goods are coming down. And ah! Oh man, that looks so sweet. Dudes, I got, to, I got to sort out this ball of lava at some stage. We did, that, we did that in like episode 8 and I still haven't sorted it out. So that's something we need to get to. But the mole hole is looking sweet, guys. Look at this. This is raised out of the jungle, man, from nothing. If you guys remember back to episode 1. Um, we, we literally just dug a hole into the side of a mountain. Go, go back and, and watch episode one again. You'll see what I mean, man. It's crazy um, that this is sort of these spires and everything have sprouted out of it. And eventually the dogolith is going to be all the way into the sky, man. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Ah, bringing a tear to my eye. It's time to try and enchant our third pickaxe, guys. We are on a mission to get a fortune pickaxe. So let's hit up into the wizard's tower and let us see if we can get a fortune tree pickaxe let's just eat first <laughs> i probably need my armor on actually to build this railway um considering that i'm going to be working in the open um you know where is my armor anyway ah oh, there's a few things in the butthole too sweet now my armor ain't here i think i left my armor downstairs actually hey hey that's not good 
Hmm. Ah! Shit! No! <laughs> you end the bastard! <laughs> oh god damn it. I looked him in the face and uh, that's what I got. Oh god. <sighs> 30 levels down the train, my friends. <laughs> oh god. Um, well, at least that's basically th our first gravestone in a long time. Killed uh, like a noob by an enderman. Um, that's the gravestone <laughs> for this episode. If he's still there, he's going to eat it. Oh, you're going to eat it now, you bastard. Die! Die, you bastard! Come on, come on. Come on, bitch. Come on! Whew. Um, okay, guys, so... Man, that was that was just ridiculous, really. Um, wow, guys, what an epic freaking redstone journey that was. But I, in season two, we're going to be taking redstone to the next level, guys. So I hope you're going to be joining me for season two. But this is just the beginning. What we did in here was just the beginning of our redstone um, action. But man, next up in the series, guys, we started working on what has become probably my... I mean, it's it's up there with the Lakeside Villa. I mean, with the, the Grand Mohall Station is the Lakeside Villa. Just one of the, the, the new constructions of the series that we started working on nearing the end of Season 1. And it is just... It has just been absolutely magical. It has been such an amazing build, and I've enjoyed it so much. Let's have a look at it from this view right here. You can see how um, it looks over the ocean as well as looking over the lake there. I've actually done a bit of work, as you can see. And of course, um, let us go into the Lakeside Villa. An absolutely epic build for me. I've enjoyed it so much because it's been an aesthetic build. The goal has been to make it look as awesome as possible. And as you can see, it is looking absolutely amazing as we come into the Lakeside Villa. Still under construction, of course, um, but there um, is what we could potentially be a tree in the middle of the Lakeside Villa. And of course, the centerpiece showing off the waterfalls flowing around the tree, looking very, very awesome. Um, and if we come into this part of the Lakeside Villa, this is, of course, going to be the box room and tool room of the Lakeside Villa. And uh, if we go up the spiral stair, well, the, the, the centerpiece staircase, here we are in what will eventually be my bedroom, still open to the world uh, and to the elements. And of course, on the roof is going to be a swimming pool or something epic is going to be up here. Um, but man, the Lakeside Villa, I am loving you. What an epic freaking build this was. Um, why don't we take a couple moments and go back to where it all started and uh, some of the the funny things that happened while we were constructing the lakeside villa man look at this it is looking freaking sweet right let us get back to the building side so guys you can see that i have been working on the lakeside villa and what i was trying to explain in the previous episode was getting that roman feel to it right and this is what i'm talking about it is a freaking zombie up there man hey butt bandit take it to the stump Bam! <laughs> man, this snow, man, is crazy. This is going to be the first, like, summer retreat house <laughs> that that has freaking snow in it. Um, <laughs> kind of crazy, but I, I, can, I, I can dig, man. I can dig. All right, so let's take a look, guys. So let's get a couple torches up in here also, just so that we can get some light shed across the tiles. Let's have a look at what we're working with. Show me what you're working with. Shake the ass. Watch yourself. Shake your ass. Show me what you're working with. Let's make a better spade. And let's improve our axe. Boom. Right. So let's check it out, right? So that is looking pretty sweet, I think. It looks kind of kind of exotic. <laughs> Oh, absolutely epic, man. Look at how sweet that is looking. I am I really love how this glass section over here is jutting out. I think it looks very luxurious. Very sweet. And guys, let me tell you, I have been freaking collecting sand for hours. I mean, around the corner there is a, a quarry where I have literally collected. You can see the lights there, actually, where that creeper is. I've collected so much sand. It's, it's actually unbelievable. Uh, we better get some torches up in here before we start summoning. Uh, before we start spawning any any freaking Enderman or anything like that in the Lakeside Villa, that would not be sort of in its design. It's meant to be that way, you know. It's got a mob spawner. Um, it's got the wizards. No! Oh my god. 
Oh my goodness gracious me. That butt bandit. Freaking butt bandit. One of the most exciting things that you guys have told me is that you, you suspect that there might be a, cre uh, a, a spider spawner underneath the lakeside villa. Because the last time we were here, the spiders were going cray cray. Um, and I thought that there were spiders in the villa, but they are in fact, they're not in fact spiders in the villa. I think they are spiders um, underneath the freaking lakeside villa. So we are going to be heading downwards um, to see if maybe there is a cavern or something underneath the lakeside villa. Man, so how sweet would it be if there was like a proper mob spawner down here? That would be amazing. Whoa, hello. Well, hang on. Oh, did you hear that? Okay, so we heard the sound before. Oh, hello, Kevin. Um, we heard the sound before and I thought that it was being made because of my lakeside villa. But it is in fact a cavern underneath the lakeside villa, people. This is sweet. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of exploring down here in this episode. Let's see what we can find. Um, maybe we'll find some sweet ass loots. What? Um, I'm seeing some weird blocks over there, but I think that's just the, I think that's just the, the ocean or something. Wow, it's looking sweet up here. Oh my god! Is that a dungeon? Is that a dungeon? Oh <laughs> my lordy lord! Guys, we're going to have to come back and talk about seasons a little bit later. But look what we just found. Look what we just found right underneath the lakeside villa. Oh my lord. This is freaking sweet, man. Man, I still can't believe we died so close to the end of season one, man. What a freaking noobalicious way to die. But yeah, guys, I mean, this we're approaching the end of this video, man. This marathon. I mean, you want to talk about a Rendog marathon. This has been a freaking Rendog marathon, let me tell you. But guys, uh, here is our spider spawner that we're going to be making good use of in season two. And of course, um, <laughs> if we venture forth uh, downwards, uh, where is it? Oh, here we go. This is, of course, where we died like a noob in the previous episode. Not going to die this time, guys. <laughs> but you know what? This led to something an unbelievable. This death actually led to probably the most amazing thing that I think has happened to us in the series so far. And that is, of course, the connection of uh, the Lakeside Villa Ravine with the Second Continent Ravine. Unbelievable luck, guys. Let's see how that all panned out and also uh, how it was a, mira a, a miraculous um, <laughs> journey for me that I didn't actually die in that giant ravine, but it was good times. And um, <laughs> Let's relive some of those moments, guys, um, and we'll see you on the other side of this. We're almost at the end! Possibly this ravine could connect up to the huge ravine that we found on the second continent uh, way back in the beginning of the series. I mean, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that means you haven't watched the series from the beginning and I am now freaking officially angry with yes. And man, it's, I'm, I'm not going to be forgiving you anytime soon, seriously. Um, go watch the freaking the whole series if you haven't watched it all the way up until now. Freaking butt bandits. Um, anyway. Let's head back down to the giant ravine. Now, I'm, one, I'm really hoping that this ravine connects with the ravine from the second continent. How amazing would that be? Because then we could, we could actually build a subterranean railway system all through the ravines. Whoa, that was some weird glitching going on over there. Um, but look at this, man. Look at what we got going up in here. Wow, so many resources, um, so much loot to get. But we just need to watch our backs because they're going to be creepers galore up in here wanting to blow up our asses. Um, right, so what is going to be the best way to get down here? Ladders? I do believe so. Let's get... Let's get ladders. Well, I mean... Oh, God! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, God, no. Why, oh, Lord? Why you gotta treat me so bad? I mean, this is absolutely absurd. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now, where are we being shot from? I think we're being sh probably shot from the bottom. This is absolutely absurd, man. Look at the size of this ravine. Do you know what would be sweet in Minecraft if you had flare? Ow! Holy Lord! 
Now things are getting frightening. Um, what a Vader time! That's what a Vader music, by the way. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Take it! To the knee! Oh, there's a diamond! There's a diamond! Oh my goodness! We found diamonds! Sweet! I see your hand, and I raise you an arrow to the face. And you, burning lava, you bastard. Look at him, he's going for the diamonds. You cannot have the diamonds, they are mine. All of the diamonds are mine. Sweet. Oh, hello diamonds. Oh, it looks like a little patch. Sweet. Let's just make sure there's no lava over here. Sweet, so that was like four diamonds. I think there's one more there. Yep. Mmm! Damn! Sweet! 100% lost. Oh, is, is that actually our... Ah! We have come full circle! There's our ladder. <laughs> Alright guys, well listen here man. I have to end this episode here because we run out of hard drive space. But in no time at all, we will be back for episode 99. One episode to episode 100, my cyber doggy dogs. Give me a high five. Oh, and I'm sorry that I, that I always use tools when I give you guys high five. So let's have a proper high five, man. No tools, not going to break anything. Give me a cyber dog high five. Welcome, guys, to episode 99. 99 problems for the Jane one. Hit me. Um, <laughs> it should probably be 99 problems, but a creeper rain one. Hit me. <laughs> That's better, man. Jay-Z would be proud. I wonder if Jay-Z plays Minecraft. That would, that would be sweet. Um, I wonder if he's got Skype. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, Jay-Z. Wanna, wanna hook up? I found a sweet-ass ravine. We can get some bling bling. He'd be like, yeah, dog. Come on, let's do it. Diamond! I know Jay-Z would dig the diamonds, man. He'd be he'd be super stoked about the diamonds. He'd probably he'd want them all though. And I'd be like, dude, gotta share the diamonds. Gotta share that bling. I also want a crunk jug, you know? Eat my sword. Uh, you think I didn't see you there, you butt bandit? Kablam! Kablam! Man, take it to your creeper bits. He was like, no man, I want to make some creeper babies. The worst babies ever, man. Self-destructing babies. Honey, I need to change the diaper. Kablam! <laughs> That's basically what would happen. There is something up there. Look, there's like a cavern. Ah! <laughs> that reminded me of, you know, when cats... Um, get a fright or they see something like something tries to touch them or something and they jump in the air <laughs> that's basically exactly what i did there i heard the creeper ow dude not cool not cool so i'm basically ow just exploring um hmm, saw something dodgy over there just trying to find something, anything interesting. Um, I'm trying to find a mine shaft, actually, because my, mine shafts usually equal really sweet loot, um, and I really love exploring mine shafts. So let's just carry on going this way. Wow, we've got we've, we've gone through an entire stack of torches already. Nope, nothing. I got nothing, and we're running out of pickaxes. Okay, so let's see if we can double our XP in this episode. Let's just go let's just go bananas, man. Let's kill every mob we see. Just get as much freaking XP as as possible. And I guess getting coal is also a good way to get XP. Although what, you get one or two um, XP balls per coal. Which isn't that much. But I guess if you well, I'm level twenty now, which is good. Creeper! Didn't even see me. Ow! He saw me. And you saw me too, you bastard! Come on! Come on! Explode! Explode, butthole! Oh god! Oh god! 
Oh God! Woo! Damn! <laughs> that was intense, man. That was creepers from all angles. <sighs> man, I can't believe I'm still alive. Thank God for diamond armor. Dude. Do you know who you are messing with? This is Rambo's bow. He gave it to me. He gave it to me on a creative server. Yes, Rambo plays Minecraft. He's pretty good. <laughs> Imagine that, man. Imagine Rambo playing Minecraft. Rambo, we need you for an urgent mission. Hold on, man. I'm busy playing Minecraft. I'll be with you after I explore this giant ravine. Oh, hello, diamond. Oh, man. Still feels good to see ass. Wow, these are, I think there's quite a lot here. Check out this. It's a little, a little bounty. A little diamond bounty. How many we got here? Oh, it just fell. Oh. Oh, God. That was way too close for comfort, man. That was, that would have been certain death. I wouldn't have been able to get out of that. Hey, guys. Whoa. <laughs> this is like a party. Wow, that spider got splattered ass. <laughs> he took it to the butthole. Man. That creeper was just like, sorry, dude. I know we're supposed to be mates, but I'm, I'm going to have to blow up your ass. Um, this, is, this is crazy. That was an absolutely epic ravine. Um, let's, let's just dig a little bit this way, see if it continues at all. Nope. Oh! Oh, my lord! Water! Water, water, water! Whoo! Damn! Oh, my god. Eat! We need to eat! We need to eat! Oh, wow, I can't believe we almost died. Right at the end. Right at the very end. Hello! Hello there! Man, we are, we're basically at the top here. I see some dirt and some, some grass. Where are we? <laughs> let's check it out, guys. Before I sign off, let's see where we are. <laughs> isn't this... Isn't this spawn? Hello! Um... Oh. My Lord. Guys. This is the second continent. This is the second continent. Look, there is an adventure pillar. Oh my god. That means that the, that means that we can make a subterranean railway network through the giant ravine, a giant ravine railway network from the second continent all the way to the mole hole, guys. This is the, this is actually the best thing that's ever happened in the series so far, guys. So if the, if that's the floating island, that means that that it is pretty close in that direction, right? So let's see if we can hop into this water. Uh, ow! Broken legs! <laughs> Man, one life. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take it easy. We, we, let's take it easy. We need to get our life back. And the sun is going down. No! Well, let me tell you one thing, my cyber dogs. Enchanting tables aren't just good for enchanting. Oh no! They got other powers that you guys don't even know about, man. Let us get into the enchanting room and let's get busy getting magical, baby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> By the power of the Ren Dog enchanting table, I change the texture pack back to what it was. Kablam! Well, Cyber Dogs, that is the end of this video and the end of Season 1 of Let's Play Minecraft with Rendog. And let me tell you guys, this entire experience from Episode 1 up until now has been one of the best things that I've ever done. And I'll tell you why, guys. Because you, you guys have become so involved in the series and have been just so amazing throughout this entire experience that... It just makes me want to wake up in the morning and just do it all over again and do another 100 episodes for Season 2. And I cannot wait to get started on Season 2, guys. And um, thank you so much, as always, for all of your support, for all of your love, for all of your comments, and for all of the freaking amazing times that we've had together, man. And remember that if you want to help me out, the best way to do that, guys, is to share this series with your friends or with anybody. 
or to recommend the series on other videos or on forums or wherever you are on the internet if people are asking about Let's Play series. Send them this way, man, and let's build the CyberDog community together. And guys, if you've got to the end of this video and if you've got to the end of this series and you've watched every single minute of this series, I want to give you a freaking high five right now. You are freaking amazing and I love you if you've come with me all the way through. And if you haven't, there's still time to catch up because season two hasn't started yet. And if it has, that means you're from the future and I hope you've watched everything so far. But guys, if you've got to the end of this video, why don't you leave a comment in the comment section below? Um, and why don't we make it a secret code? Why don't we make it a, the, the comment hashtag CyberDog? And that is gonna show me that you have managed to come with me all the way through this ridiculously long episode 100 and this ridiculously long um, season one of Let's Play Minecraft. As the sun comes up behind us, guys, this is Rendog signing up for the last time in season one. And we will see you in season two of Let's Play Minecraft. I cannot wait to get there, guys. We have so much to do. Unbelievable amounts to do. We need to finish the Lakeside Villa. We need to connect this continent with the second continent via the giant ravine. We need to make the mole hole complete. And of course, we need to build up the village on uh, in the desert. And maybe, just maybe, guys, there's gonna be a whole bunch more uh, special stuff coming your way. Maybe Real Gox, my brother, is gonna somehow pop his ugly face into the series. Uh, only joking, Goxie, I love you, man. But guys, thank you so much f again. And we will see you in season two. This is Rendog signing off. Give me a high five. And it is time to make some bacon. Are you aching? Yup, yup, yup. For some bacon. Yup, yup, yup. He's a big pig. You could be a big pig too. Hey! <laughs>